My name is Lars Sorensen. We're here at the Sci Computing Conference 2016 in the middle of London, talking to uh, presenters, partners, keynotes, and participants, uh, getting their insights on the conference and their inspiration. And we're going to talk to Richard Musket. He's from the Cancer Research UK. Well, uh, that's a, that was a surprising partner for me, uh, but. After you explain it, it was clear you're you're looking in each possible way to uh, uh, to maybe get cancer out of out of the world, right? Uh, yeah. And so you're working with all kinds of people. Yeah. So also data scientists, computer scientists. Of course, yeah. Um, we're interested in taking any approach to um, better uh, understand, diagnose, or treat cancer. Uh, traditionally, we've uh, funded uh, researchers from the life uh, sciences and yeah. clinicians, but um, increasingly there are ideas and techniques and tools that com come from outside of these uh, fields uh, that have that kind of have a lot of impact on cancer research. So we've been reaching out to the engineering and physical sciences communities, and that includes computer scientists, data scientists, like the uh, people that we're seeing talks from today. It, it sounds very much out of the box for a cancer research uh, institute uh, yeah, to go that way. So w w how did you came to that conclusion, uh, being uh, uh, for, for quite some years a fairly uh, traditional organization, and uh, going into this new direction? It's, it's very innovative. Well, uh, w we're always needing new new tools, new ideas, and science uh, is so diverse. And in, in various fields, people have come up with very advanced, very refined tools, uh, such as the ones that we're hearing today, big data, um, image analysis, and they're very refined, uh, but um, they're being um, uh, applied in different areas. And what we're trying to do is to um, encourage collaboration and, f uh, and therefore fund collaborations between groups of researchers from these different fields, from data science, computer science, with life scientists. And you actually have funds available to uh, to to, uh, to support the uh, the scientists that are researching, maybe in computer techniques, but th that can be used for yeah. uh, diagnosing or. Uh, or let, let me tell you about two uh, recently launched schemes. Uh, the first one is a multidisciplinary project ward, and this is specifically designed to fund collaborations between life scientists and clinicians uh, with engineers and physical scientists. And we right. see a, a, a lot of uh, medical imaging ap applications. Uh, we see uh, big data applications as well. The second scheme is the uh, Pioneer Award, and this funds um, innovative research. And that could be any, anything from new devices to, say, apps. Um, just something, you know, basically out there, innovative, uh, that can be used to uh, basically ultimately uh, improve um, patients' yeah. well-being. That, uh, are there any uh, more presentations that really inspired you that, uh, that uh, say, well, maybe uh, it's an idea that you can fund or it's, uh, it's a way of working that could help you guys? Well, uh, one, one talk that really inspired me uh, this morning was uh, from Hoi Lam um, from Google and uh, the Institute IET, of yeah. IET, Institute of uh, Engineering Technology. And he was talking about um, horizontal innovation. Uh, and that's precisely what we're trying to encourage. That was, that's great, like uh, innovations from the racing industry helping uh, newborn babies that were born too early, right? Th exactly. Those kind of crossovers. Th so yeah. the idea of like technology developed in one like, area, yeah, one area, racing uh, automobiles and applying that to healthcare. That's exactly the kind of thing that we're trying to encourage with these, these kinds of schemes. That's great. Well, I'd like to compliment you on your uh, no-box uh, approach, because this is not out of the box, this is a no-box. Anything's possible, and great that you guys are, are here and partnering up with uh, the Sci Conference.